in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my very compact and portable Sunny ZV-1 vlog setup. Now, this is perfect if you are a beginner, if you are looking for a very, you know, minimal setup to use to vlog for your YouTube content. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys exactly what I use how I set it up as well as all the accessories that I use in creating my vlogs. Now, if you are interested, sit back, relax, and let's get right into this video. So welcome back again to the channel. If you are new here, welcome to this video. If you're not new, welcome back to our channel. And again, my name is Kelechi Ubaimla, just in case you're seeing me for the first time. Hi, welcome. And you guys already know that on this channel, we talk all about the creative aspect, the productive aspect, as well as the business aspect of YouTube and content creation. And in this video, we are going to be talking about this beauty over here. And this is a sunny ZV-1. This is my current vlog setup. It is minimal, it is beginner friendly, and it is a perfect content creation camera. And this is amazing because you can use this to vlog as well as to create all type of YouTube content. But in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my, you know, my vlog setup, what I use and how I use this to vlog and create amazing content. But when it comes to vlogging and creating on the go content, outdoor content, I typically like to keep it very lightweight. I like to keep it very compact, but yet still very portable because I don't like a lot of attention to be drawn to me. Um, you guys already know that it is one thing to hold a camera in front of you. It is another thing to build it up with your own sets, with the microphone, with the, with the extensions, with the you know tripods and all of that kind of adds to the weight and the form of the camera that you are using. But yeah, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my very compact setup and how I also transition from a very minimal setup up to a more pro level setup depending on the kind of content i'm creating depending on the theme depending on the location or depending on the event at the same time so like i said in the beginning of this video when it comes to vlogging you want to keep it as minimal as possible right you don't want to have a lot of weight on your hand because again you're going to be holding the camera as opposed to having it on a tripod stand when it comes to creating content i always typically say start off with your phone and this is something i advocate about and that's why i have a lot of content with relating to like mobile content creation creating content on your phone for youtube i mean the content on your phone now is amazing just to show you guys i'm going to insert a couple of clips here just to show you what it looks like we're not talking about the mobile phone, we're talking about the ZV-1, but I want to share with you guys that even if you do not have the ZV-1, you can you, you can kind of replace it with your mobile phone, but then use the accessories I'm going to be sharing with you guys to elevate your mobile phone content. So that way you're taking it from basic to body. <laughs> you're taking it from basic to better or best, depending on how you use all that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I want to film in portraits mode so that that way I can have a more of a background depth. And yeah, this is what we're looking like filming using the portrait mode. Um, filming on our mobile phone with this, we get more of like a blurry background as you guys are seeing right now. But yeah, this is how it looks like. And this is amazing to start off with. If you want to elevate your content, you can add the accessories that I'm going to be using, the tripods, lights, all of that, the microphones. You can add that to your content to get better quality. I want to flip this over so that you guys can also see, you know, what it looks like filming on the back camera as well. So we're looking like filming in portrait mode using my mobile phone, just so you guys can see that it is amazing to vlog with. But yeah, um, if you guys want to see um, how to film using your mobile phone, vlog set up a mobile phone as opposed to like camera, let me know down in the comment section so we can do that in another video. But yeah, let's move on to, you know, what we are here for. So let's start off with, our camera the first thing i want to do is to set this properly so that we get the best quality for vlogs and i'm going to show you guys exactly how i have my camera set up okay so the first thing i'm going to be changing is the file format so i always like to film in hd for vlogs because with vlogs they typically take a lot a, lo a longer time to film and you can t you can film in 4k but my problem with this camera filming in 4k is that it kind of crops you in a little bit and when you're vlogging you are arm's length there's only a lot you can do with 
you know, positioning the camera and compositioning at the same time. So I like to film in, in HD. That way I'm getting amazing quality. However, if you're filming in studio kind of content, you might want to switch over to 4K. And that's the amazing thing about this little camera right here is that it, ha it gives you options. It gives you variety. You do have the option to either film in 4K or in HD and um, typically I do 30 frames per second so I'm gonna do 30 however if I'm gonna be mixing in a little bit of slow motion I might film in 60 but now I'm gonna keep it at 30 frames per second okay so when it comes to focus mode I like to keep it on continuous auto focus so that way it continuously focus focuses on my face using my eye detection and the focus on this oh, superb so I'm gonna keep it there focus area wide um, face and eye autofocus set so I'm gonna go over to the mode which is this button over here right so after I do that basic setting I click on this button right here to kind of set the mode that I want to be filming in and we have amazing options right to kind of cater to whatever content you're making so i typically kind of alternate between the intelligent auto and the manual movie but for me i like to use manual to kind of manually expose and adjust my shutter speed my iso and all of that this is going to be dependent on you but like it is so amazing with the way that you can customize this little camera to create whatever content whether it's beauty vlog cooking whatever it is this is what it looks like right now so now that we've gotten this out of the way i'm going to start sharing with you guys what i have working with me okay so when it comes to vlogging this camera does have a flip out screen as opposed to like a flip up screen which is amazing because you do have you know entire view of what you're vlogging and your subject or you you can kind of switch this over to whatever angle you are filming or working with but this is what it looks like i just wanted to show you guys just in case you're not familiar with this camera but um now that we've kind of gotten through the basic settings of like my vlog my basic vlog settings um if you're filming with manual like i am it does get a little bit hectic especially when the lighting situation changes so something that i advise you to do is to just switch over to maybe program auto or intelligent auto for the movie settings again that one gives you um, automatic control it does it does amazing with my, with automatically setting the camera to the perfect setting depending on the scenario okay, okay. so next up is microphone guys oh, let me tell you the audio coming out of this microphone is second to none it is amazing and I'm gonna show you how wide and like the space of this microphone this is the space of the microphone from here to here it has a very large microphone space and the the audio that comes out of it is amazing it's actually better than some of the microphones that i the external microphones that i use on this it also came with this um dead cat to kind of cancel out noise at the same time i always try as much as possible to have this on it does have a space for like a hot shoe so I put this on so that way um, it cancels any noise in the background. If you're out vlogging, you definitely need one of these to cancel out the noise from the background in case you're you know, walking on the streets and there's a horn, there's a car moving. You want to have something to cancel the audio if you're not using an external or wireless microphone. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is the inbuilt mic. I'm just going to turn this on and show you exactly what this sounds like right away all right guys so this is the audio coming out of the sony zv1 this is what the inbuilt mic sounds like and again guys this is amazing this is typically how i vlog most of the time like at least 90 percent of the time this is the audio or the microphone that i'm using and i'm working with because it is i don't have to add anything to it it pretty much comes with the camera it's easy to work with you don't have to set anything and this is the sound that you're getting this is the audio you're getting and again like i said it is amazing okay so that is what the inbuilt mic sounds like now there are two ways that i go when it comes to using an external microphone because external microphones uh, it could easily go downwards because when you're vlogging you do want it to be 
compact you also still want to keep it easy going at the same time so something that i definitely advise you to get is this dayty um, d4 duo microphone these are amazing because it is a dual microphone meaning that it has two sides to it so you can easily switch this over to receive audio from two sides so in case you're vlogging and someone is behind you you can get the audio from two subjects or if you're having like an interview style kind of vlog you can get the audio from two subjects or if you're vlogging and you're changing the view of the camera from front view to back view you get amazing audio throughout so yeah it is amazing you can change it to block out one of the audio the back one or you can turn it on so that both microphones or both um, sides are working and yeah this is what it looks like it is small guys you can use this for interviews for vlogs so yeah i definitely advise this it is small it is compact so the problem with this is when you're vlogging you do want to cancel out noise and this comes with a dead cat so you might want to have this dead cat on both sides just like we have on the inbuilt microphone so this kind of makes this microphone a little bit more bulky but yeah that's the downside to it i'm gonna connect this on just to show you guys what this audio sounds like and so with this microphone it is plug and play so this is what it sounds like you don't need external batteries for this one um just to show you guys what it sounds like and maybe even compare it to the previous inbuilt microphone audio sound coming out of the sony that we want but this is what it sounds like so my personal concerns with shotgun microphone when you are vlogging is that once you take it further than arm's length the audio becomes crappy so you have to keep it at a close distance to you when you are vlogging however if you want to go up to a more pro level um something you can do is to get yourself wireless microphone and these ones are amazing as well there are a couple of microphones there's a road microphone wireless microphone go so you can use that but i'm just sharing with you guys alternatives this one is from pixel vocal um vocal lark and this is what they look like but i'm just sharing with you guys alternatives on, on how you can kind of elevate and take your you know zv1 from basic to you know pro level so yeah that's basically what i do but on a daily for my day-to-day -day con content i typically use the inbuilt microphone coming out of this because again it is amazing and it does the job so next up is tripod right when it comes to tripods and when it comes to vlogging there are different ways you can go about it especially if you are a beginner there are a lot of tripod options on the market right now i'm going to show you guys two and i'm going to show you guys when i highly recommend what i always use this one is pretty much like the basic tripod that i think most vloggers use it's easy it has a ball head here so it can easily rotate and bend to the form or position that you want it to but i'm not a fan of these ones and i'll show you why i definitely love these selfie stick tripods because again with vlogging like i say you do want to get a wider view you want to be further away from the camera or you might want to include a couple of more people in the shot so this tripod selfie stick type of tripod is definitely what i would recommend for anyone who wants to vlog with the zv1 because again it is a bit tight when you're vlogging so this kind of gives you more length away from your face and your body so you do get more in the background as opposed to using something like this that is just like yeah <laughs> so yeah definitely opt for a selfie tripod if you can for vlogging and you can definitely change the length you can adjust the length if you want it this long you can keep it this way if you want it a bit longer you can keep it this way you can still increase it and there are other um you know selfie tripod options in the market now another option on the pro side if you are someone who maybe you have all this already and you want to elevate the content from this you can go ahead to use a gimbal you can go ahead to use a gimbal and to be honest with you i never use this maybe out of 100 content i use this maybe just once or twice and this is for like heavy production serious production cinematic type of production and for lifestyle vlogs you want to live your life you want to be on the move you want to be able to adjust and adapt to whatever situation you're in so yeah this is what i use all the time every time it is always stuck on the camera so yeah i'm definitely advised to get this one 
or something similar to this i'll leave a couple of um you know options in the description box so you guys can check them out as well so let's talk about lighting if you know me you know that lighting and me and lighting are like best friends as you guys can see yeah i'm all about you know creating amazing quality content using amazing lights making sure that you are perfectly lit something that i definitely advise you to do is to get these portable lights guys these are amazing these ones are the ulanzi vl46 lights the way it comes in it is really inexpensive and it is so portable and so compact that you can use this on your mobile phone I vlog with this on my mobile phone. I also vlog with this on my camera. And the thing about this is, oh my God, I'm gonna show you guys. These are super bright. It goes up to about five levels. It goes up to 100% and the CRI is amazing. The color rendering index is amazing. It's at a 95 plus. You wanna make sure that the CRI is top notch. It's about 90 above. That way you are sure that you're not going to have like green hues or blue hues or red hues on your face. That way you're sure that once you put on this light, it's going to give you the truest of true color. This thing is so small, but the color, the brightness of it in, in the dark is unreal. I'll show you what it looks like. But I also wanna show you guys what this light looks like when you are in a dark room or in a dark environment my ISO is currently at 6 400 but I'm gonna turn on this light just to show you guys what it looks like and the difference that it makes let me just turn this on yeah voila this is what it looks like with this light it goes up to about five levels this is about 20% and if you want to you can increase the intensity of this light I can't even look at the LED, but this is how bright it gets. Um, but yeah, this is what we are getting with the light. Let me just turn this off again. One minute. Yeah. Can we see the difference? Yeah. Yeah. On it. Let me turn it on back again. On. Yeah. So. Good much. But just see how bright this light is and how compact it is. This fits into your bag. It fits into your pocket because most times I have this in my pocket when I don't want to have it in my bag and it's just easy to pull out screw on and start recording especially if you're vlogging at night it is rechargeable so you can recharge this over here with a type-c port it does have a type-c port so you need a type-c cable it does come with a cable so you need to charge this and this lasts for a while and i'm happy about that i'm going to show you something i love about this they're so thoughtful with how they create their accessories and their products that they included hot shoe so they included hot shoe over here over here and over here so there are three hot shoes three external hot shoes on this light what this means is that you can add and build your own setup using just this thing i'm going to show you what i'm talking about so in case you want in case you have a microphone or in case you want to use two lights you can easily slot this in i mean <laughs> you can slot this in and screw it right and you have like instantly have two lights right that you you're working with right if you want to put on an external microphone um you can put that because there is a hot shoe here i love this because it feels like a puzzle for me and you can attach all of this to your camera over here so instantly we have two lights set up a microphone and if you're filming in studio at home you can still build this up so it's amazing how they are so thoughtful with you know their accessories and all of that but yeah this is what it looks like but because i like filming outdoor content this is already becoming too bulky for me um i'm gonna take out this part i only use one light to film one light is more than enough for me because again it is super bright i'm gonna take this out and this is what it looks like right this is what it looks like with the light so yeah um when it comes to filming i always advise you to use your natural sunlight because sweetheart it is the best light to use it is free it is soft it is even it is beautiful it's the most natural when it comes to like production but the problem is most times it is not stable you can't predict the weather conditions and you know most times we don't have 
the um you don't you don't have a perfectly lit environment or a perfectly lit room or studio whatsoever it is because of our building structure or whatsoever it is so if you're filming in like an enclosed space or at night this would definitely help you a lot with your video quality so yeah um this is definitely a must have a must must have for all content creator whether you are filming on your mobile phone on a camera vlogging camera whatever it is definitely advise this for vlogging amazing okay and again did i mention that it is soft it is a perfectly soft light so your skin is gonna look like butter and it's also very bright so i mean you can't really go wrong with this light and i haven't really had anything bad to say about it so far so next up when it comes to vlogging another thing that is super important and another accessory that you need are sd card so this is a 128 gigabyte sd card it does store up a lot of space about nine hours or ten hours worth of video content and that's a lot of video content to work with so if you're vlogging in hd you do get about nine ten hours worth of you know video content but yeah you do need external sd cards if you're vlogging you do need a lot of space so from 64 gig minimum but i definitely recommend this one anything less than 64 gig will just give you headache when you're filming next up these ones are important when it comes to vlogging especially using the zv1 oh, i can't even emphasize on how important this is and these are extra batteries now to be honest with you i have i have like a lot of batteries sitting in front of me um i do have about five extra batteries aside from the one that's already inside so i do have maybe like about six seven batteries that i work with um these ones are super compact look at how small they are they are super compact they can easily go in and fit into anything your pockets your bags wherever it is but the problem with this is that it doesn't last for a long period of time this typically lasts me for maybe 30 to 40 minutes non-stop filming on the sony zb1 so if you're filming for the entire day you maybe need about two to three extra batteries to get you through the entire day so that way you're not missing anything but yeah um these are amazing extra batteries are definitely recommended for any and every content creator but most especially for vloggers especially if you are on the go you're outside your house and there is no way for you to charge your batteries and you need to record so make sure you have extra batteries on with you make sure that you have more than enough most times i always have more than enough with me so that way i am not missing anything so yeah super important extra batteries and yeah the last thing i want to share with you guys again these things are kind of beginner friendly they're so compact but each of them has their amazing benefits uh, so these ones are extensions that these ones are external hot shoes again this one is from Ulanzi and again like I said I do love your product it is so sturdy I got about let me show you what the pack looks like I got about five of this yeah this is what the pack looks like this is the U60 vlog ball head so it's basically for vlogging um i got these ones i got about five of them and i use this for all my studio lighting i kind of showed you guys in my lighting and filming studios i'll leave the link over here i showed you guys what i use in setting up my lights. this is what i use so that way i can kind of tilt my lights and change the direction of what i what, what, <laughs> what i have going on because i do have my lights on my ceiling so that way i have a lot of space to work with on my ground so yeah these ones are amazing i also have this one right here so these are pretty much like external hot shoes in case you need to add on and build your kit your vlogging kit so i'm going to show you guys how i build my vlogging kit so that way it kind of fits all that i need and all i need this for is maybe a microphone and lights everything else is inside the camera so i'm going to put this on my tripod which is on the same ulanzi tripod so i have the ulanzi tripod and the ulanzi ball head and this is what it looks like so if i'm filming using my external microphone as well as lighting i like to use this adapter over here i'm just going to screw this on right and screw this onto my camera like so and then right put this over here this hot shoe over here and then i'm going to clip on my light 
so i like to have my lights above me and my microphone just on like my mouth level so that way it gets the best and like very crisp um audio for this vlog so this is typically how i would vlog if i wanted to use my external audio but like i said guys i'm not a fan of like external audio with the zv1 because the audio coming out of the microphone is pretty good so i'm gonna take this off just so we keep the amazing form and simplicity of the zv1 and how compact it is original now so i'm gonna put this tripod back this selfie tripod back and guys i literally just have two things added to my zv1 and i have the perfect content creation setup to work with so i have my lights i have my tripod and i have an amazing microphone here to work with so i'm gonna turn this on so this is typically how i vlog and this is typically kind of what works for me if i'm in a dark environment i'll just turn on the lights and increase the intensity of the light depending on how dim or dark the environment is and gives me like a very perfect or perfectly lit um, subject so yeah this is my very minimal very basic um setup and i definitely love it it gets the job done it's easy to pack it's easy to like close up detach put back on install i do this in like less than 10 seconds and probably turn this off and if i have to install it back literally less than 10 seconds screw this on screw this on and we're good okay so this is what we are looking like and this is also what we sound like filming using the sunny zv1 my tripod stand as well as my lights this is how we look guys it is quite compact it is also easy going and it is beginner friendly at the same time you don't need to spend or splurge a lot when it comes to creating content all you need to do is to get the right equipment get the right tools and also make sure that you're using the right settings for your device for your gear whether you're using your mobile phone or you're using a camera but yeah this is what i work with super easy super on the go i have tons of accessories but when it comes to vlogging i love to keep it simple and this is what i work with so yeah yeah guys that's basically my vlog setup i typically just go for a tripod my Sony ZV-1 and an external light because when I'm vlogging, I like to keep it as minimal as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys would like to know more about the Sony ZV-1, the settings, whatever it is, let me know in the comment section. Um, I believe that whenever you're using this camera to vlog, it is best, like on a daily kind of daily vlogs, it is best to keep it as minimal as possible. So maybe a tripod and that's it. However, if you want to film in studio set of content you can definitely take this from you know 80 to like 1000 in like a snap of the finger but yeah if you guys would love to see how you can use this small very compact camera to create in studio pro 4k type of content let me know down in the comment section and we'll talk about how we can use this video to create like beauty tutorials ah, i feel like this video was this camera was also made for beauty vloggers let me tell you this camera was also targeted towards beauty vloggers towards people that review products towards um people that cook literally content creators so yeah um it's it goes beyond just vlogging but because of the compact size of uh, vlogging is always the first choice so yeah if you guys love this video thank you thank me um i love to see you guys in the next one where are you going to don't go anywhere stick around with me and let's create amazing content here i love to share with you guys my tips and tricks on production the tech aspect of you know setup and all of that the business aspect because we also need to make money from the investments that we're making because if you guys decide to buy this it is an investment towards your youtube business and you need to make that money back and i talk a lot about making money as well and you know creating and just the entire thing like we're like the full package over here so yeah i would love to see you guys in my next video i would love to see you guys join us join the family let's bro let's create and let's just support each other on here so yeah before i say anything else make sure you stay fabulous and make sure you stay blessed i love you guys bye